Good morning, T-Wolves. Up ahead, a familiar face is returning to the football field to see how Coach Q is preparing the team for the season. And find how students and parents get to know CPH's principal. Plus, forget about the return of Broadway. CPHS Theater is back with their first performance of the year and a host of health minute. Let's jump in because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, I'm Abby Martinez, joined by Jack Polishik and Katie Whitmarsh. So we have Coach Q, he's back. Um, I'm excited to see how we do in district starting next week. I think um, this season will definitely be a good one, hopefully. I agree, I agree. I talked to him for a little bit, and I think I think he's ready for a new se or a new fresh season, you know, new coaches, yeah. new players. I think it'll be a good one. Yeah, I definitely think that maybe the team needs a little bit more time to adjust to all the new coaching staff, definitely. but once they get there, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, for sure. Cedar Park's football team is beginning a new era after Coach Carl Apsek left for a new position in Barbers Hill. Now a familiar face, Michael Quintero is returning to fill the head coach position. Reporter Reese Elizondo has more on Coach Q's move back to CP. Reese? Thanks, Abby. Football season is in full swing with a new generation of Timberwolves and a new coaching staff, including returning coach Michael Quintero. I spoke with Coach Q about the goals he has for the team this year. Coach Q first started at Cedar Park back in 2007 before leaving in 2015. During that time, the Black Braid won two state championships. We talked with Coach Hugh to see how his transition back to Cedar Park is going and how he's preparing the football team for another season. Uh, first of all, uh, first goal will probably be just to be, just be competitive in everything that they do. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, with the standard that we have around here in athletics when it comes to Cedar Park, um, I feel like that's the number one thing, just be competitive, uh, whether it be in, you know, on the football field or, or in the classroom. I think that's just the high standard that we've got to have. From the student perspective, Friday Night Lights are something most high schoolers look forward to. Student section leader Jacob Swidova explains what his biggest responsibility is when it comes to keeping the student body engaged. I think it's just keeping everyone excited and loud. I think the biggest thing in any game is just being loud and being supportive of all the guys. We're excited to have Coach Q come back and hopefully lead the Timberwolves to another victory. When we asked him what led him to come back to Cedar Park, he said... Number one is just the, uh, the environment and community that, that this school has. Um, from all the way from our principal, Mr. Sloan, to the to the families that uh, that are that have come through here or coming through uh, this school, I think that the uh, tradition of uh, community sport is unbelievable, um, and this is just a place that um, when you have a family, a young family like mine, uh, to bring them here and to be able to experience this, I think that's probably was the was the number one factor for bringing uh, for for moving my whole family here, um, and number two, just I know I know where athletics are here. Um, and, and it is, it is uh, it's a special place to, to be able to coach and to compete at, so uh, it was a no-brainer for me. You can catch Coach Q in action next Friday when the Timberwolves face Georgetown. Make sure to come out and support. With CPHS News, I'm Reese Elizondo. Back to you all at the desk. Thanks, Reese. Grab your coffee mugs because next Tuesday is a chance for you to have coffee with CPHS Principal John Sloan. Coffee with Sloan is a small event that was introduced a few years back as an opportunity for students and parents to get to know their principal better. Really, it's, it's just an opportunity to have some discussion and um, it's an opportunity for people in the community, for students, for parents to learn about some of the things that are going on at Cedar Park High School. We would love to have more students participate. In the past, it's been, um, there have been more parents that have done it. This is one that I would love to see more students out and hear what the questions are that our students have and, and hear that student voice. Coffee with Mr. Sloan will be Tuesday, September 21st from 10 to 11 a.m. in the pack. Theater is coming back with a vengeance. After performing one show last year, the department is putting on 11 productions this school year. And their first production, The Curious Savage, has already sold out its Friday and Saturday shows. Almost the entire cast is made up of new theater students, so the department is using The Curious Savage as a training opportunity. Theater teacher and director Elisa Marabella stresses how hard the theater students have been working to put on the first show of the year. I think it's been interesting having mostly freshmen because the freshmen are so excited and they uh, come in so afraid that you know they'll never be used because of course everyone has more experience than them. And it's really fun to see how hard they're working. We've put this show together in three weeks and 
you know, they're doing everything in their power to make a good impression and they're succeeding. The Curious Savage will be an exclusive performance for students in the black box today at 6 p.m. Tickets are $5 at the door. Now it's time for Ethan Hexter with your top three things you need to know for today. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm Ethan Hexter, and here are the top three things you need to know today. First, the Senate court hearing for the Larry Nasser case is over. Gymnasts Simone Biles, Ali Raisman, Michaela Maroney, and Maggie Nichols spoke at the hearing. They spoke against the S FBI investigators' handling of the case that allowed the doctor con to continue to abuse countless Olympic gymnastics. While the director of the, SB of the FBI was present, the Department of Justice was entirely absent. Next, the construction of a North Austin water channel is set to begin in 2022. The project was originally greenlit back in 2019, but was put on the back burner until earlier this month when Cedar Park City Council decided on where the funds for the project would come from. The channel will help divert flood water from areas of high concern, something that is needed more now than ever as we faced more extreme weather due to climate change. And finally, the newly renovated Waterloo Park and Moody Amphitheater are back. After $88 million and a decade of renovation, the park reopened on Saturday in the heart of downtown Austin. With 38,000 square feet of grass and a brand new skyline, the park doubles as a local walking ground and a concert venue. Since reopening, the park has already housed concerts, concerts by glass animals and asleep at the wheel, with much more entertainment to come. And that's the top three things you need to know today. With CPHS News, I'm Ethan Hexter. Thanks, Ethan. Up next is Carver McDonald with your T-Wolf Spotlight for the week. But first, these announcements. I'm Ian, and you're watching The Wolfcast. Hi, I'm Carver McDonald and I'm here today with Susie and the theater department production of Chaos Savage. How are you today, Susie? I'm doing well. I'm a little bit nervous because we have our first performance tonight, but overall, mostly excited. Cool. What is it like being an actor? It's fun. It's a lot of hard work, but I really like it. It's really fun. You get to be in a community. Me too. What is the Curious Savage about? It's about this woman whose name is Mrs. Savage, whose husband just died and has left her with a lot of money. And she wants to give that money away to help people live their dreams. But she has three bratty step stepchildren who do not want her to give the money away. And so they put her in a mental hospital. And there's just this whole plot with them trying to get the money and her being like, no, no, you cannot have the money. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about being in a play? I really, really love my castmates. It's just, it's such a tight knit, tight knit group. And also it's a comedy. And comedies are really fun shows to do. So I really like the people, and I really like the play. Cool. Who is your favorite actor? I really like Adina Manzel. She played um, Alphaba in Wicked and Elsa in both Frozen and Frozen 2. Cool. What is your favorite thing about them? I love her singing voice. She's been having voice lessons since she was in, I think she was seven years old. So she's really, really good, and it's always amazing to hear her perform. Cool. Thank you, Susie. Back to you guys. Thanks, Carver. Now it's time for this year's first HOSA Health Minute, sponsored by our own very own HOSA Club. Didn't we think this would all be over by now? Normal school year, normal sports events, normal everything. But unfortunately, we still have to take precaution due to the new Delta variant strain that is even scarier than the normal COVID-19 strain. How could this be possible? Well, the Delta variant is twice as contagious. 
This is why it's more important than ever to wear a mask indoors and in public settings. Along with that, make sure to wash your hands frequently or use hand sanitizer. And if you're feeling any symptoms, please get tested as soon as possible. There are now quick tests that you can take in the comfort of your own home that'll take 15 minutes or less. In regards to school events, it's also important to stay safe and stay away from others, especially during sporting games, club activities, and more. I don't know about you guys, but I for sure don't want to go back to virtual school. That's all we have for today. Make sure to keep up with all of our content. So head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. Join us on Tuesday for a story on the Texas mask mandate, student council, and a sports report. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Jack Polishuk. And I'm Abby Martinez. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.